Hello, for lesson three of math this week, we are gonna be looking at arrays. Now arrays are a way of displaying our equal groups so that it's easier and they help us with our multiplication. So I've got a picture of an array here, okay? Now arrays are organized in columns and rows and they are all aligned. So they're all in equal lines so that we can see our groups, okay? So they're in columns and rows. Now a column is when we look at the dots going down. We go top to bottom and that is a column, okay? Now I've got one column here and I've got another column here. So my array is made up of one, two columns, okay? So I can start by writing two columns. Now, in each column, if you can see I've got circled my column, in each column I have got some dots. Now in this column I've got one, two, three, four, five dots and I've got the same in my second column. So in each of my two columns I have got five dots. Two columns of five dots. That's the same as me saying I've got two groups of five. Okay, two groups of five, two columns of five dots. So just like we did before, I can write this as a number sentence. So two columns of five, I've got five and I've got another five. Five add five equals, okay? And then I can work out the answer either using a number line like we did earlier in the week or by counting in five. So I can count five, ten. So my two columns are five dots, so that means my whole is ten. But I can also look at my array in rows. Now rows are when we go side to side. Okay, so my array is made up of one, two, three, four, five rows. Five rows. So I can start by writing that. I'm going to write it on the other side. I've got five rows. And each of my rows is made up of one, two dots. two dots, okay, let me spread that out a bit better, five rows of two dots and they're all the same, each row has got two dots. Now I can write that one as a number sentence as well, okay, now I might need a little bit more space, so I've got two, add two, add two, add two, add two, two. So I've got one, two, three, four, five groups of two. Okay. And then I can work out the answer by counting in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now you notice, you can see that my answer is ten both ways I did it. If I looked at the columns, I got an answer of 10. If I looked at the rows, I got an answer of 10. And that's because the number of dots that I have in my picture hasn't changed. No matter which way I look at my array, I still have the same number of dots, which is 10. But you can write your two different groups in two different ways. Now, what you've got for today's lesson is you've got a table with lots of different arrays in it. Now the first one I've done for you, okay? You've got the picture of the array, just like I had here. Then you have got the sentences written about how many columns your array has. Remember, column is top to bottom, and how many things are in your column. Then in the next part of the table, you've got rows. You need to write a sentence, how many rows you've got, and how many things are in each row, and a row is side to side. In the final box of the table, I would like you to write the two number sentences that you can make for your array. 
okay so one will be about the columns like this one two columns of five five add five and one will be about the rows five rows of two two add two add two add two add two and you need to remember to write the answer okay and remember your answer should be the same for both number sentences and that number should be the same as the number of pictures in your array shouldn't be any more and shouldn't be any less they should all be equal okay have a go if you find it a little bit tricky and you need a little bit more practice then ask a grown-up to write out another array for you in any picture it can be dots squares cars as long as you've got rows columns and they are all equal okay have a go and let us know how you get on